So this question is a diagram question, right? Any question that provides visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. What we have here actually, obviously, is a graph. So this graph, I like to look at the x-axis, which says time since cup was removed from heat source, the y-axis, which says temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, and then what are we talking about, right? So the heading of this or the title of this graph which is temperature of a cup of coffee during an experiment. So the information provided here says in an experiment, a heated cup of coffee is removed from a heat source and the cup of coffee is then left in a room that is kept at a constant temperature. The graph above shows the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of the coffee immediately after being removed from the heat source and at 10 minute intervals thereafter. Right, so basically describing everything we see here in the graph, we see our 10 minute intervals of time here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. We obviously see our temperature and we can see that our graph trends down, right, as that coffee is left, um, as that coffee is removed from the heat source, which is what exactly what we expect to see in terms of the trend of temperature. So question number six says, which of the, during which of the following 10 minute intervals, let me erase this, to get ready to use my graph, which during which of the following 10 minute intervals does the temperature of the coffee decrease at the greatest average rate? All right, so between zero, so, so you know, when I see a question like this, obviously um, there's no math to do based upon reading the question, but what I wanna do is look back up to the graph itself and just test out each of the possible answers. So choice A says between zero and 10 minutes, well, what's happening between zero and 10 minutes? We're going down from what we could say is 190, let's call it 195, to what we could say is you know, 155. All right, so we decrease, that's a decrease of 40. And again, I'm saying 195, maybe you would choose a different number, 199. Uh, the Usually with questions like this, the right answer will be apparent. So even if your assumption of where these, like the Y values or the temperatures of these points are not the same as my assumptions, you should be okay. So that's a 40, this is a 40 degree um, decrease. So between 30 and 40, let's see what happens for choice B. So between 30 and 40, we go from what I'm gonna call, I don't know, 121 to what would I call that, 110, right? So that's just a decrease of 11, which means that B is gone because A has a greater uh, decrease. And then choice C is between 50 and 60 minutes. So here, and again, this is exactly at 100. And this one looks like it's, you know, I'd say even 95. So that's definitely not a 40 degree, right? And we can kind of even tell visually that answer choice A is going to be the correct answer, and we could have told, we could have known that from the beginning, right? And I'll just show you again. Ninety. So choice D is between ninety and one hundred. I mean, these points are pretty much equivalent. Um, there's not much of a decrease there, so that's why D is gone. And what I was going to get to is that we could have known that A was the right answer from the beginning because really of the trend of the graph, right? So we already knew that it drops pretty heavily in the beginning and then starts to flatten out towards the end. So the decrease is gonna be greatest in the beginning of the graph and definitely at the start of the graph, right? That very first decrease over 10 minutes is gonna be the greatest. So choice A is the best answer here.